hi and welcome to the second part of the Ableton Live Tools for Spot Revolution video series. This part will be about installation, optimization and setup. If you haven't already, I invite you to watch the first video. If you already have a Flux account as well as an iLock account, you can jump to this time call. All the links you need will be provided in the description of the video. So let's get into it. So we are going to first create a Flux account. Don't forget that you need to activate your account. An email will be sent to your email address. If you don't see it, please check your spam inbox. Once your Flux account has been created, we are now going to create an iLock account. For those who don't know, iLock is simply a license platform that will allow us to activate our spot revolution license. Same as for the Flux account, don't forget to activate your account with the email sent to you. We are now going to download the iLock License Manager application as well as the Flux Center. Again, all the links you need are in the description. Now that both accounts have been created and activated, and both the Flux Center and iLock License Manager are installed, we can now link the iLock account to the Flux account. To do so, Go into the iLock Licenses section of your Flux account and follow the procedure. The last step is to go into the Trial section and request a trial for the Spot Revolution Ultimate. The license will be automatically placed on your iLock account. Now open the iLock License Manager application and activate your license by moving the license from the main list to your computer. You can close the iLock application and open the Flux Center. Connect to your Flux account and download the Spot Revolution. When you download the Spot Revolution, the plugin will be automatically installed as well. And of course, don't forget to download the actual tools. Now, before we are done with the downloading and installing, we need one last thing. A virtual audio driver that will allow us to route audio from live to Spot Revolution. My preferred choice is Black Hole, as it is very stable, is completely free, open source and has many versions with different channel count available. And I recommend to install all those versions as it can come very handy. But of course, if you know of any other virtual audio driver, feel free to use it instead of Black Hole. As a quick bonus, you can get loopback to help you route audio from device to device very easily. But it is absolutely not necessary as we can achieve the same result in the audio MIDI setup window from macOS. Now that everything is installed and your Spot Revolution license activated, we can go and look for the install folder of the Ableton Live tools for Spot Revolution. Simply open your finder, go into the root of your hard drive, and open the following folders. Library, Application Support, Flux, Ableton Live Devices, and Spot. Here, you will find everything you need. The main devices, the templates for live, and SPAT, the Max for Life devices used to create the tools, the macOS shortcuts, as well as the few alternative versions of the available devices. Before going on, I highly recommend that you add this folder to the sidebar of the Finder so you can easily go back to it later. If you wish to optimize your workflow, it's always a good idea to cut all external connections such as Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. And so, to make this process even faster, you can use the shortcuts provided in the macOS shortcut folder. More information about the shortcuts in the written version of the guide. We can now start up live, go into live preferences, and make sure it is scanning for the VST2 system folder. Click the add folder in the sidebar. Then, select your SPAT folder to make it available in live directly. We can check that everything is correctly set up in our devices by placing the send, room, and return to a track. Everything should be parameter correctly by default, but you can still check if your parameters doesn't match mine here. Or you can also check the OSC part of the guide. Two things left to do in live. The first one is to set the takeover mode in the MIDI section of live preferences to value scaling. This will prevent the parameters from getting jumpy, as Live and Spat do not share the same value system. And last, 
go into the audio tab and select your virtual audio driver as your main output and activate all its channels. We are almost done. Open SPAT Revolution and go to the preference panel. Select the same device selected as Ableton's output, but here as the input. Of course, select your actual output device or you will not get any sound. Only thing left to do in SPAT is to activate the OSC and set up the connection. Again, like in the plugins, everything should be good as the default parameters. There are many parameters you can change in the preference panel of SPAT, such as the frame rate of the 3D engine or the default HRTF you choose to use for binaural synthesis. The installation and setup part is now over. We are now going to jump into the workflow video.